In this suburb outside Dallas, Errol Spence Jr. isn't writing the same hard knock story as his opponent, Roberto Garcia. It's a great community. It's a 75% black suburb, just a great working class community. Uh, I have great parents, a mom and a dad, you know, that took care of me and support me, supported me in everything that I did. Spence's stable adolescence has meant a lot of support, especially from his father, Errol Sr., who moves in with his son a few weeks before a fight. It's something that, you know, always been there, so night, day, you know, so I, it's just, just for me. Just made me feel better. Yeah, ready to go? Yeah. Wherever EJ has to go, he's like, Pops, come on, let's go. His dad has been a very positive role model for him. There was a step to everything that he had to go through, and Errol Sr. was there for him. How many miles you want to do tonight? Probably five. And then I'm gonna do some sprints. All right, we can do that. Better keep up. Evening track work to close out a day is standard for Spence. So is the presence of his father. And that's how Errol Jr. wants it. Me and my dad relationship, uh, we like best friends. Um, you know, it's just, we just got that bond where we just click. Yes, we are best friends. That's why I don't, I really don't like talking about him because I get emotional. I don't like to, because I don't, I don't, I don't want to sit on camera and start crying. <laughs> so, you know, I just. He does have good work ethics. Sometimes I have to try to slow him down, you know, because he just want to go and go and go. I have to tell him to you know, take it easy sometimes. But when I run on track at night, it's just more peaceful, and I get in my zone better. I'm a night owl. I like to stay up at night. So uh, this is a time where I can get my run in, and I feel like I'm more up. You good for some sprints, CJ? After uh, every run, uh, we have a sprint contest with me and him uh, where we race each other. He looking at me. He looking at me. We running. Man. Ready, set, go. <laughs> it's just a, a friendly competition, pushing each other. And uh, he pushing me, but sometimes he cheats too. He try to, uh, try to, you say, ready, set, he, and he go on set instead of going on go. But I still catch him at the end. <laughs> <laughs> ah, over. He got it this day. I hit them all. Like clockwork, it's hot and humid in Dallas. And just as predictably, Errol Spence Jr. arrives at the gym, or as he's dubbed it, the lab. It's going to be a hot, humid day. The first time I met him, I was a boxing professional, and he was in the gym. I think he had just started boxing. He was um, about 15 years old, a little bitty guy. My dad felt like he wanted me to have more pro style than an amateur style, and Derek had that professional background. So I started working with Derek, and I, I liked what Derek was teaching me. Teaching me to think, keep my hands up, uh, before I got with Derek, I was just a left hand puncher, just always throwing the left. He taught me how to uh, use my right hand, throw a hook, throw a jab. Derek James has fostered the growth of this fast rising boxer. Undefeated with 13 knockouts in 16 pro fights, Spence is quickly starting to command the stage. And I believe it's rare to be so successful not being in the game for that long. He's only been boxing for three or four years and made the Olympic team. There's 22-year-old Errol Spence Jr. from Dallas, Texas. At the Olympics, it was a great experience. I mean, it was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I met a lot of great athletes like LeBron James, guys I see on TV all the time, fighting for your country. You know, I really enjoyed it, you know, despite the decision I lost. The United States will not win a medal for the first time in USA boxing history. I wouldn't take nothing back. Everything happens for a reason. Spence came home from the Olympics with his head held high, ready to turn pro. Success has followed, and it's put him on a path to becoming champion. But Roberto Garcia stands there, waiting. I feel like this is my biggest fight so far. Uh, this guy, he's an aggressive fighter. Uh, he likes to come forward, uh, and he's tough. So uh, I have to use angles, I have to box, and uh, I just have to stay focused and let my combinations go. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, we can do the ab, we can, do, we can go to the back and do the bands. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Come on, Eric. When we work outside the gym, it's just so much about foot control, foot speed, and just knowing where you are at all times and being able to have balance. When we go outside, that was more of a footwork drill. Using the ladder to increase your, your quickness in your feet. And then we use the bands. That's for resistance and for uh, leg strength. Since the Olympics, Spence has become Dallas's favorite local boxer. And it's not uncommon for people in the community to pop in during training. Spence is an easy fighter to root for. The kids in the neighborhood, they come to the gym, they, they, they see his background, where he come from. The way he is, because his family, um, his father always been by his side, always bring him to the gym, um, doing everything, everything with him, making sure he's going the right path, um, doing the right thing. I find my motivation in my family. Everybody sacrificed just as much as I sacrificed for my dream. My motivation is to win world championships, so, you know, their hard work and their effort and stuff didn't go in vain. All right. All right, Tim, I'm gonna take that blood pressure and just let me know when it releases. Put your hand over your heart. Should be here be in a few seconds. Boxing is old school, and so are many of its methods. Errol Spence Jr. is a new breed of boxer, and he's taking the fight game to the new school. All right, let me check you out. Good as always. All right, perfect. Now, do you need water, banana, granola bar? Uh, you got any Jolly Ranches? I got some Jolly Ranches. <laughs> I got. Some, I do have some uh, Jolly Ranches. Let me get a cherry and a grape. Cherry and a grape. All right, I'll, I'll get that for you. All right. Earl comes in to put this therapeutic, holistic way to, for your body to recover inside of his regimen and training. Hey, champ, here you go. I just brought you two of each, man. All right, thanks. He's been training and going all day. We put on the Norma Tech recovery boots. That compresses and uses pulsing technology to help the blood circulate better. It helps with soreness and swelling. Sometimes he just stays 10 minutes, or sometimes he'll stay a full hour, but he always ends with a cryo session. So watch your step. Come on around. Perfect. All right. Now let's remember to stay actively relaxed. Relax your neck, your back, and your legs. Go ahead and turn. The cryo session is just kind of like an ice bath on steroids. It's going to average anywhere between a negative 250 and a negative 270 for three minutes. From zero to 10, with 10 being the coldest, where are you at on that number line? I'm at an eight. You're at an eight? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of used to it, but it's still, still cold. It's still cold? Yeah, it's still cold. The cold gets like two inches deep in your skin. I feel like you're taking an ice bath, but you just get in there for three minutes, and it does what the ice tub does in 15, 20 minutes. It's becoming more common in pro athletes because this is a whole body recovery. If they can get back feeling great like they haven't worked out, and they can get back and do it into another intense workout, that'll give them the edge as far as competition goes. Okay. In the morning. Okay, we'll okay thanks, you. man. I appreciate right. it. You're welcome. In one or two hours, he's going to be able to go full speed. Uh, let me get some more of Without remembering the intense workout this afternoon. From now on, I'm going to keep nothing but Jolly Ranchers in there, man. <laughs> All right, have uh, a thanks. good one. This is my biggest fight, and I'm fighting on NBC. I just can't wait to showcase my skills and my talent. Oh, good, good. Open him up with it. Yeah, let me go. I want to become a superstar, so I'm willing to go through Robert Garcia's to get it.